In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a logic analyzer, and this is used to capture and display signals from a digital circuit, and you can use it for debugging and decoding uh, communication protocols. And the model I'm going to use is called, the company is called Celile, and it's uh, Model Logic 16. And this is a slightly older model. I think their current model is the Logic Pro 16. But um, the Logic 16 has uh, 16 channels. Uh, it has a USB interface to connect to your computer. And um, so basically you connect the hardware to your computer uh, through the USB. And then you run the Celile Logic software to do the analysis. Okay, so this is the Logic Analyzer. It's a little uh, square-shaped device really small uh, and portable. And you can see on this side, um, there's 16 input pins, and these are divided, if you flip it over, into uh, like two banks, uh, A and B, each being eight uh, input pins each, with the far left input pin of each bank being the ground pin. And I rarely, in fact, I've never used uh, all 16 of these at once. Usually it's only going to be like the ground pin and then maybe two others maybe three two if you're using like the i squared c protocol to uh to look at or serial protocol uh three maybe with the spi and then the only other thing to this is in the back is uh the usb uh cable uh input which powers it and talks to the the computer that you you connect it to okay so <clears throat> Okay, so these are the cables so for like one bank. There's there's eight lines, and you can see the this gray one. It's got the ground. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, ground label on that one. So that that goes to ground. Uh, this is this is the other one. Like if you use both at the same time, but like I said, I've never never used two at once. It's always generally just the ground pin and then two of the other pins. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, the circuit from the last video I did, which was on this uh, EEPROM chip uh, to demonstrate the logic analyzer, because if you've seen that video, you know that the EEPROM chip uses <clears throat> the I squared C serial protocol. So those are going to be the two lines that we're going to hook up to. And so basically, uh, pin 5 of this EEPROM chip goes to the analog 4 of the Arduino. So that's the uh, SDA uh, data bus of the I squared C uh, protocol. And then pin 6 of the EEPROM chip goes to analog 5. Okay, and that's the clock pin. Okay, so now I've got the, the logic analyzer hooked up to the circuit. Okay, so, and recall <clears throat> this gray pin, this one on the far right is the ground pin. So that goes to ground right over there. And then the far uh, left two pins, so that's going to be that black and the brown pin are pins one and two. And I'm going to connect the black pin to the I squared C data bus and the brown to the clock bus. So you can kind of follow those lines around there so that I just add those into the into the circuit right there okay so this is the Arduino sketch that I'm using uh, for this logic analyzer and this is the same sketch I used in the last video I did on the EEPROM chip so it's basically gonna write to address 0 the value 110 and then it's gonna read it back so with the logic analyzer we're, we're actually gonna see these bits as they're going across in the uh, the data channel of the I squared C bus, and we'll also see the clock bus as well. So I'm going to go here, all right, and run the software. And this software you can just download um, from Salile, and it there it goes. Uh, I mean it's it's free, but it doesn't really do you a lot of good unless you you bought the hardware. Okay, so here on the left, these are the 16 channels, you know, that we looked at before, uh, labeled channel 0 through 15. And you can see they're, they're color-coded with the wire that they're using. 
and recall we're using just the channels the first two channels the black wire which is going to the data bus of the I squared C and the brown wire is going to the clock bus so I'm going to select these and just hide them for now okay and then here are some of the settings um, you, you can select the, the logic level so we're using Arduino which is 5 volts so we have that selected it's like the sample rate in the duration of uh, four seconds um, recalling that sketch I'm only doing a read and a write in the setup so it doesn't take that long to, to run so just four seconds is probably more than it needs and the sample rate in the duration determines the estimated memory usage so you don't want to do set it to more memory than you actually have and you can also set this as samples instead of seconds okay and then over on this side of the screen these show the the analyzers that are available these are the three <clears throat> I commonly use so that's just basic serial protocol I squared C and SPI but there's a lot more and a lot of these I don't know I've never heard of I, I, I have heard of one wire but um, there's there's a lot of different protocols that this thing is already set up to use and so since we know we're using I squared C that's what we're gonna set this to and then this sets the trigger we want to start collecting samples when it detects the falling edge on the the uh, data bus so that for I squared C that's what you, that's what you want to set that to okay so um, so we're just gonna do start okay so let's wait for the data bus to go low and I'm gonna reset the Arduino to rerun that sketch and there it goes so so it's collecting all the samples okay and then so we zoom in here ah uh, yeah so also I have um, you can set how what you want how you want to display the data so if I do it like ASCII and hex it'll show up here based on what you select okay so since it knows this is I squared C it, it knows how to interpret um, this data and so the first byte is a setup to write and that's that uh, 50 hex that's the I squared C address of the uh, EEPROM chip and that plus ACK means anytime the master writes to the slave so the master in this case is the Arduino Uno the slave is the EEPROM chip the slave is going to send an acknowledge so if the if the if the communication is going from master to slave slave returns an acknowledge so that's what that plus ACK is okay so then the next thing that gets goes across the data bus or is a one or excuse me two byte address that um, the Arduino wants to write into the EEPROM and for the sketch recall we're writing to address zero so that's what these two next two bytes are is zero and zero so you can see this is pulled low all the way across and then again it acknowledges on both of those and the Arduino is writing the value 110 to address zero so that's let's go back and display and then it's decimal okay so yeah that's what that 110 is is uh, right there or 60 hex okay so that was the right and then if we well, let me just do it over here okay so now this is <clears throat> the read portion and recall if you read from the EEPROM you still have to do a write because you have to set the address pointer where you want to read from so again it's setting um, the the EEPROM I squared C address 50 hex and again it's, it wants to set the address pointer to zero uh, so that's a two byte address so we send it two zeros and then it's going to set up to read from uh, the I squared C address 50 hex, which is the EEPROM chip, and then if we scroll across. That's the value that's being read. Again, that's 6E. If we look at that in decimal, it's it's 110. And so the NAC, it, no knowledge. That's when uh, communication is going from the slave to the master so the EEPROM chip is returning the value 110 
to the Arduino, so it it doesn't send uh, a, an acknowledge when the communication communication is going that way. Only when communication is going from the Arduino to the slave, which in this case is the EEPROM chip. So that's basically how this uh, logic analyzer works, and it's good for debugging things. If if you have some something hooked up and it doesn't seem to be working, like if it's using Iceberg C or serial communication, you don't know why or what's going on. Uh, you can hook this up to it and see exactly what is going across those communication channels. And um, or if you just want to learn about um, some of these protocols like SPI or I squared C, kind of what's going on under the hood, um, this is a really good learning tool. Uh, so anyway, there you have it.